So the date is March 9th. Today is day 12. Yes, day 12. I stayed up a little too late last night. And I am fucking exhausted. I just had lunch, and I'm hitting that point where I just feel like I'm about to pass out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nap, and then I'm gonna, as soon as I wake up, I'm gonna hit myself with a cup of coffee. Tonight is the Just For Laughs block party, so I'm pretty excited to get some footage of that. I want to talk about this really quickly, because two days ago, I, for some reason, that day was one of the worst days I've ever had. I just, I felt like shit. Everything I did carried a negative feeling associated with it. I just felt angry and upset, and I couldn't even understand why. I just, I didn't know why I felt that way. And now, I'm, I'm a lot better now, I'm a lot better today. But I'm struggling to understand why. Sometimes you have a bad day and you just can't do anything about it. Everything can be perfect. You can eat properly, you can exercise, you can you can meet up with your friends. I don't know. It's just every, everything good can happen and you can still feel bad somehow. Or is it that way? Is there something I'm not doing? Is there something that I'm missing? That's a question I ask myself a lot. Is there something I'm missing that I should really be doing? or trying or implementing in my life. I'm always searching for that next thing. Food for thought. Oh, fuck. I really hate these lights. Okay. So the time is currently... 5.26. Uh, I woke up from my nap about two hours ago, really needed that, but I don't think I should have stayed up so late or drank as much as I did last night. Anyways, so today I've been reading a book that I got a while ago, which really changed my perspective on some things. The book is called... High Performance Habits, How Extraordinary People Became That Way, by Brennan Burchard. This is the book cover. Very interesting book. I have... I have had this sitting on the shelf for about two months now. I bought this at the beginning of the year as part of a New Year's resolution kind of deal where I wanted to read more. So I bought a couple of books, and basically I didn't have enough time until now to get started reading on this book. And I would like to say, boy, have I made a great mistake. So, what is this book about? It's about high performance. What does that mean? I'm pretty big on personal development. I like to know the reasons why I feel the way that I do, and I like to know how I can alter my emotions and feelings to be an overall better, more positive person. But lately, such as two days ago, I've run into situations where I felt very powerless to the feelings that envelop me. A lot of negativity and a lot of frustration that I just can't seem to get over with. So, I don't know what prompted me to read this today, or start reading it today, but I, I had a line there, and I just decided to read a couple of chapters. So I took one of their assessments that they have online, and they give you a score of 1 to 5 over 6 different habits that are really fundamental to high performers. One of the habits that's super important, and the habit that I'm going to talk about today, is clarity. Clarity is something that I am lacking a lot of in my life. I struggle to find clarity in a lot of things that I do. When I took the test online, I got a score of 2 out of 5 for the clarity section. That basically means I have very little idea of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So when I, when I read that I had a score of 2 out of 5, I wasn't very surprised. I, in fact, it reflects very, very closely to the person that I am. 
Thankfully, clarity is something that you can change. It's a habit. It's something you can practice. It's not something you're born with. It's something you can develop over time. One of the practices that they have in the book is called envisioning the future four. The future four consists of four things. Self, social, skills, and service. Self is about myself. So I need to envision what kind of person I want to be in the future. Social is how I reflect upon others. Social is a little different in the sense that I envision what others think of me. The next one is skills. Skills pertains to what I want to do and the idea of the primary field of interest. This one was a little tricky for me. I had a lot of trouble coming up with the answers to this one because I've had quite a lack of clarity on what I want to do in my life. I have enough, I don't have enough clarity to say where I'm going to be, but I have enough clarity to say where I definitely will not be. Thankfully, they don't go as far as to make you define your career. Instead, they make you define something called the primary field of interest. So, more, a more generalized idea of what you want to do, and then you start applying skills. So if you're, let's say, interested in personal development, your skills would be, um, you would want a healthy body, maybe, for personal development. So you would start exercising, you would maybe take up a sport, go to the gym. Another skill for personal development might be a healthy mind. So you would want to fuel yourself properly, you would want to be constantly learning, making sure that you're challenged mentally, that you're, um, intellectually stimulated. So you have your broad idea, your primary field of interest, and then you have the skills that you would develop uh, to support that primary field of interest. And the last one is service. So service is how I would provide something of worth to others. I want to be clear on what value I'm bringing to the world. I think being raised in this day and age brings a new set of problems that don't really pertain to people of any other generation. It's hard to find purpose. It's really hard to find purpose. To find something that you can honestly say you provided value to the world, it's hard. It's really hard. And not everyone can be like the next Elon Musk where they're solving problems for the future of humanity. Sometimes you gotta bring it down a bit, you gotta scale it down a little bit before you can envision being that. I'm not saying don't dream like that. I'm saying not everyone dreams like that. And so I want my service to be helping other people that are lost like me. Find that purpose. Which is very meta in itself. It's a little weird to think. My hope is that by documenting my own journey, to finding clarity in my life, and purpose, and value, and, and worth. Ultimately, I'm hoping that when other people see this journey, that they'll be motivated or disciplined. And if they can see that some random Asian kid from who knows where in Canada can do that, and find that purpose, and find that drive, if he can find that, if I can find that, then I hope that motivates others to realize that they can find it too. So I'm going to keep reading this book. I think it's a great book. I'm not being paid at all to promote this. I don't even read that much. Um, but I would definitely recommend this book so far to anyone that has a chance to pick it up. Um, it's, very, it's, very, it's a very good read. It's very interesting. I'm following it very well. There's not, there's not been a point where I've read the same paragraph and just kind of skimmed over it and glossed. This has actually probably been one of the most engaging things I've read in my life, self-help wise. Anyways, um, I'm gonna probably head out soon for the Just For Laughs event that's happening tonight. So, end of vlog. Bye.